Hello, online pipe community. Ethan, Parsimonious Piper here. Today I've got Ghost Cobb with me and we're gonna do a little YouTube Piper's Care. First, in a Briar Lee Goodfellow, I have got another bowl of that Noble Jones from ye old tobacco shop. What are you smoking there? Missouri Meerschaum's Country Gentleman with a cane rod stem and in it, you ready for this shocker, folks? Pegasus. Big surprise there, huh? Well, you know, I, I like to keep people guessing. All right. Let's dive in here. Sam, doing it wrong. He and his wife have COVID, did this last week again. Uh, she works in the public sphere, so she keeps getting exposed to it and, and with both of them down, drop by, give them some support, keep them in your prayers this week. Squire Piper, you recall a couple weeks ago, his wife had leg surgery and she's been recovering. She has recovered well enough that this last week she was able to return to work, at least on a cautious basis. Delta Piper. Last week, his grandpa injured his eye and had to have stitches. This makes me shudder on the eyeball. And uh, I, I believe he, he actually was in this last week to have them taken out. But uh, uh, keep that older gentleman in your prayers and that, uh, uh, that this did not significantly impact uh, his eyesight. Um, it's one of those things we kind of jealously guard as we get older. To compound things, Delta Piper then uh, he, he also had a dog that he had to put down mm -hmm. and uh, those of us who are dog lovers animal lovers of any kind know that that's never very easy keep him in your prayers this week if you would I'll tell you Ethan if there's one thing I don't like touched is my eyeballs mm -hmm. and I don't even like I don't even like watching people put contact lenses in I flinch and want to run the other direction yeah. so God love him for that, I'll tell you. Griffin Pipes, my boy Chad in Tennessee, had a death in the family. Um, we didn't get very many details. However, they have lost a loved one. So um, as everyone knows, that is a very difficult time and stressful time for families. So please keep him and his family in your prayers. Smoking Syed Yusuf from Africa, also known as the great commenter of the YTPC, in which he is, um, has also had another death in the family. He lost his aunt. Um, Yusuf has been, him and his family have been through so much this year that um, we are praying for him and we're praying for this to ease up and for those waters to settle. So uh, please keep him in your prayers and uh, his family as well. Yep. Pipe Shed shared with us this week that uh, he has a, a close friend couple uh, that just lost a near-term baby. Um, can't even imagine um, the, the pain of losing a baby at any any stage, um, much less when you're so close to celebrating the birth. If you would, uh, you can even drop by his channel. Links for all these will be below and and uh, let him know so he can pass on the word that, uh, that you're praying for him. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. Last but certainly not least, my brother from another mother. Mr. Ethan, Parsimonious Piper. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of him or not, but um, him and uh, Tracy have also had a death in the family this week. Uh, we got the word just this morning mm -hmm. that Uncle Marv has passed away. Um, yesterday we were driving back from Onions and we were talking and he was sharing some memories of Uncle Marv and there's one memory that just made me 
go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So would you be so kind to share this, that amazing, I'm, awesome I'm, memory? I'm sure you gotta be talking about the Willie Nelson concert. <laughs> the one and only, yeah. baby. <laughs> my, um, yeah, I, I have a lot of, of funny and fond memories of my, my Uncle Marv. Uh, he was my dad's uh, brother-in-law. And uh, one of those was our shared love for country music, particularly classic old country music. And uh, no one else in the family shared that particular love. And when I was in high school, we happened to live across the river from them in uh, Illinois when they were, uh, they were in St. Louis. And he had tried whatever he could. He got two concert tickets to Willie Nelson at the classic Fox theater and uh, could not get anybody on that side of the river to go to the concert with him. Nobody in his family was even going to be seen dead at a Willie Nelson concert. So yeah, Uncle Marv gave me a call and before he could even get all the way through it, they said, yes, what time do you need me there? Cause I figured I knew where he was going as soon as he <laughs> said, I got two Willie Nelson tickets. So we had a blast at that and uh, it took a lot of ribbing for years for two of us fanboys wanting to spend an evening listening to Willie, but uh, it, that, that was a great time. Marv, uh, Marv will definitely be missed. Uh, he was in a lot of pain this last week and, and he, was, he was ready to go. Um, Marv was, uh, was a believer. He was a, a member and active um, servant with the Christian Motorcyclist Association for many, many years. Um, he was one of those uh, pillars of the church that served on boards, taught Sunday school, um, all, all of those kinds of things that uh, contributing back uh, into the Christian community. And, uh, and he'll be missed by many, but most of all by his surviving wife and, and my three cousins, his daughters. So if you would, uh, and keep them in your prayers this week. All of the others, as always, I will have in links below. If you are the praying type, keep them in your prayers this week. If you are not, you should be. With that, folks, find something you like. We'll see you next week. And remember, Isaiah 49, 16, God has you in the palm of his hands.